presented by Church Tech U, it's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to make one announcement loop that has alternate slides for different screens in Pro Presenter 7. Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about Pro Presenter. My name's Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, why don't you join the over 10,000 people who've already subscribe to this show so that they can get um, notifications when I release a new episode every Tuesday. So here's what's going on. The There's a situation where maybe you have an announcement loop and there are certain slides that apply to the people there in person, but not to your online congregation. And there are other slides that apply to your online congregation, but not to your uh, in-person congregation. So, perfect example. Don't forget to silence your cell phone. If you're in a coffee shop, if you're at home, doesn't matter if you silence your cell phone. Kind of annoying, actually, because maybe you like your cell phone unsilenced. And some people are rule followers, so they say, oh, there must be some good reason. So you don't need to send that, but maybe for uh, people that are at a remote location, maybe you're having uh, communion and the theological um, beliefs in your denomination say that a person could prepare their own bread and wine or cracker and juice or whatever you're using. And uh, so they could prepare that. And maybe you'd want to replace one with the other. So how can you do that so that you have one slide loop? And depending on which congregation it is, they see their, um, they see their slide and not the other, and vice versa. Well, let's head over to my computer, and we will take a look. So... Let's first off uh, create a new slide loop. So I'm going to go to uh, new presentation here. And let's call this uh, dual slide loop. Okay. And let's add that to the... Let's do this Wednesday service presentation. Okay and new and that's there so let's say i want it to be the closing loop that's fine now let's see what we've got here for announcements so i have three announcement slides and um this one's a foreground let me change that real quick no no i want all of them to be foreground silly me So I'm going to change that to a foreground and this to a foreground. So I'm going to click and drag to select all of them and add them up here. Well, I meant to add them like that. Okay, let me get rid of that first one that I shouldn't have done it like that. Okay, and... Let's, I can either um, do this to have those automatically change every five seconds, or I could do a go to next timer on all of them. Right click, go to next timer, add that, and then on the last one do a loops to the beginning. But we'll just leave it how it is. Okay, now let's say that is one of our outputs, our main output here, so regular, and then we've got the other one that is, this is NDI or Siphon, that's because maybe that's how you use uh, ProPresenter to live stream, so we'll have an alternate one for that. So let's set this up so that One screen always gets the same thing, but another screen uh, gets an alternate one. So 
I don't think I said that very cl clearly, but it'll become apparent here. So let's go to screens, edit looks, and now let's create a new look here and let's call this um, dual loop. So for my, I'm going to get rid of the announcement layer on everything but the portrait monitor just for my case because I'm using the portrait monitor for this. So ignore that part for yourself. But what we want to do is we want the regular one to get both the slide and the media. So the slides layer and the media layer. You'll see why here in just a second. For the NDI slash siphon output, we want it to get the media, but not the slides. Some of you know where I'm going with this. So basically the this one will get both of these layers, and this one will get only this layer. And then I'm going to click Make Live so that notice that it changed that. So remember, the regular one gets both layers, and the other one does not. So maybe I don't want Follow Us to show um, online. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and convert media action to slide element. What that does is it puts this, it moves it from the media layer down here where these are just kind of uh, shortcuts that say, hey, play this on the media layer. So it moves it to here. So as a result, right now, if I look at the NDI and Siphon screen, shows the first one, then, so when it goes to this one, notice for the live stream, it's not showing up. Whereas when it goes back to this, it is. And that's because back in our, um, back in our look earlier, we, made it so that the um, it was not showing the slides layer on this output. But if we go back to the regular one, you'll notice that it does show up because this is on the slides layer. So how can we put another image here, another slide, so that it shows up on the on the live stream down here while not showing up here. Well, what we can do is I can grab another slide and bring that in. Here, let me hide this. And I've already brought this in, so that's why it's showing this. And I'm just going to um, use existing here. And notice that's a, a foreground. I'm just going to drag that. Mm, actually, probably a better way to do it is to find where that's located down here. Yep, right here. And... bring it up there. And actually it's set as a background. Let me change that to a foreground so that they all match. Right? So foreground, 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 and I'm going to delete this one. So now when I go here, notice it says follow us, but here it says D did you make a decision for Christ? So if we go back here to the regular one, 
it shows follow us and at the exact same time here let me click on it again did you make a decision for Christ so by having a single slide loop uh, created this way I can show it with one slide for the live stream and another slide at the same time for the in-person congregation. If you like this content, you'd probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro 7 quick. Give me your name and email address and I will make a login for you automatically so that you can take that class for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTQ.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.